if you guys are just like me, you are waiting around trying to see who the reinforcements are going to be for the San Francisco 49ers defensive line. Obviously, a ton of movement has happened in the last 24 hours with the release of Eric Armstead, and we know the San Francisco 49ers need to add more pieces to that defensive line room with only five total players under contract, two of them being guaranteed starters in Nick Bosa and Javon Hargrave. So we're all like Ayuk right here in this picture, just waiting and seeing who that guy is going to be. Now, Michael Silver did put out a thread, the same thread in which he called and basically foreshadowed the Eric Armstead release as a, a cap savings. Um, there is also ties to Daniil Hunter and other edge rushers. Now, we had also heard some reports from Dolphins beat reporters that the 49ers could be linked to Christian Wilkins. Well, as soon as that came out, Christian Wilkins signed a four-year, $110 million deal that included $84 million guaranteed with the Las Vegas Raiders. So as soon as the Christian Wilkins 49ers rumors popped up, he's gone. He's out the door. He's a Raider now. And to be honest, you look at the money that he's getting, I believe it's about $27 million per year on average for an interior defensive tackle, and you see what the 49ers just did to let go of Eric Armstead seemed counterintuitive to kind of drop more money into that same position when you could focus on edge. So although the idea of having Christian Wilkins on the 49ers defensive line was tantalizing uh it doesn't really jive with kind of the current moves that they've made and again it i think it still puts an emphasis on the san francisco 49ers going after defensive ends so the name that keeps popping up and i've already alluded to it prior is daniel hunter uh he is a name that's been tied to the san francisco 49ers by beat reporters, by other reporters outside the San Francisco 49ers. He is a guy and a name that keeps popping back up. And so this is important to note that, hey, the 49ers need edge help. This isn't a debate. As many of you tried and have failed to debate me that the 49ers don't need defensive line help, again, all signs continue to point to, oh, yes, they do. And they are willing to not only go get help, but drop serious coin in getting that help because they tried to piecemeal it together last year with Cleveland Farrell, with Drake Jackson, with Robert Beal and others. But of course, we saw what happened. The 49ers had to trade for Chase Young and they had to trade for Randy Gregory. I don't know if either of those two are going to be back. Based on what we're kind of seeing, it does appear that the 49ers will likely go elsewhere, and Daniil Hunter is a name that keeps popping up. He does not appear to be returning to the Vikings. The Vikings just signed Grenard um, for a pretty solid contract, and to be honest, uh, he's getting $19 million per year on average which is honestly not bad. I think that's a pretty good bargain for the Vikings. They get younger. Um, they get a guy who had uh, 12 and a half sacks last year. Um, and that's a pretty good deal, actually, in my opinion. But I think it also kind of sets the tone for the current uh, value uh, for defensive ends or edge rushers on the open market right now. But when you look at what Daniil Hunter has done, he had 18 sacks last season with the Vikings. He had 55 quarterback hurries and 80 total pressures, according to PFF. So it, it's going to be fascinating to see what the 49ers do if they're waiting it out and if they uh, want to get this done. 
uh, relatively soon or if they're going to wait this out. But when you look at Daniel Hunter, he's a former third round draft pick by the Minnesota Vikings in 2015. He's 6'5, 263 pounds, running a 457 40. Still right under 30 years old. He's 29. He'll be 29 next year. So you're kind of, you're obviously getting a guy on the closer to the back end of his career, but obviously he's still producing at an insane rate. Uh, you got 18 sacks last year, 13 sacks the year prior. He had a bit of a uh, outlier season where he dealt with some injuries in 2021 with only six sacks. But then in 2019 had 18 sacks, 2018 had 15 sacks. So all Daniel Hunter does is produce and get after the passer. So this could definitely be this could definitely be a target for the San Francisco 49ers. But I, from what I'm hearing, I'm hearing other things as well that the 49ers are linked to uh, some star pass rushers. I won't divulge too much into that. Um, but I've also heard, like other guys, I think Marco Martinez put out that he's hearing or can confirm that the 49ers have reached out to Josh Uche, uh, the, um, the pass rusher from the Patriots. So basically what we're gathering is from all these different places is that it feels like the San Francisco 49ers are absolutely targeting an elite edge. Um, whoever that may be, whether how that comes via free agency, via trade, uh, maybe they turn to the draft, but I don't imagine they will do that. I imagine they are going to address this within the next week. Um, but the San Francisco 49ers are clearly, clearly interested in adding someone. So who's that going to be? That remains to be the question. I want to hear from you guys in the comments below who your ideal edge target is. Is it Daniil Hunter? Is it someone else? Is it a Josh Uche? Could it be a Brian Burns? Who is your number one target that you would like to see the San Francisco 49ers go out and get add to this roster and improve this defensive line group, especially opposite side of Nick Bosa. Who's that guy? Let me know in the comments below. Again, turn on all post notifications on the channel because the second we get news of any moves, we are posting them and we are getting them out to you as fast as possible. So stay locked in on the channel. Oh, you follow me across all social media. It goes out on social first. So if you want to see it right away, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook are going to be your best bet at the SF Niners. Everywhere else, we're uploading videos right after that to YouTube and all that good stuff. So make sure you stay locked in. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates.